Okay, hi everyone, welcome to part two of our let's play on this map. Now what I've done is I've sold the two trailers we were using yesterday and I've gone and bought these two. Um, hopefully this is going to make an improvement because these are easier to reverse. Because when we're tipping, like I demonstrated yesterday, it's not too easy um, with those dolly trailers. So I've gone with these two. What I didn't realise when I was buying them that they're slightly different shades of yellow but it doesn't matter too much. So what we'll do is we'll get back to our combines and because we finished the game last night we'll have to set those workers off again but hopefully they're all still in the field so we shouldn't have to do too much setting up. I've also got the drill going again because that stopped obviously. Um, so it looks like these three combines are in the middle of the field so they should be dead easy to get going again. I have a suspicion that they'll be full because of how slow we were yesterday I think they'll all need emptying so we'll probably be full immediately I went with two trailers I don't think we should have three but we can't have one because we'll never get anything done ok so yeah they're all on 100% so it's just going to be a case of emptying all these combines and getting them moving again so let's go for this one of course we're driving in the crops again what I don't like doing. Oh, I think I just dropped this sound a bit. I noticed it should be on about 20%. I was a little quiet in the previous video. Okay, the emptying is fairly slow. I think we can probably get the others going, ready to be emptied. Okay, that's going. We can sell those two. If it's going to be 25% each, or 24, we've got three combines, so we won't be full immediately. We'll be able to wait and get another one. Now I was going to do a little bit of research and see if we could actually empty nearer to the yard, rather than going to that selling point, because it's a long way, every time we want to do it. So, let's have a look. Um, freight yard is our selling point. Ah, oh, yeah, we do. We've got one down the back there. Okay, this should be almost full. I think that one's full. Get out of your way. Okay, the final one, which is over the top here, I think. We'll get that one emptied, and we will then uh, wait for one more load off this combine here and then we can go empty. So I don't know what you think to this map. I think it's amazing. Um, it's a very good map and highly recommend it. I realised that there is actually an update come out for it. 2.1. This is 2.0. I think it's fixed a few triggers in the selling points. I'm not sure exactly what it's done. But we will probably download the update fairly soon issue with that though is we will lose our save game I think I think that's how it works so I'm not going to do it immediately probably get a number of parts out of this and if we are going to update then we will do that but I'll check first to see what it actually changes I like the trains I think the trains are good they're certainly frequent Right, let's reverse this. Uh, this will put my skills to the test. Oh, we're losing the back one. Right, so we will go over the other side again, wait for this final combine, and then we will go and empty. I'm trying to think of stuff we could get going on with while I'm doing this. Um, I could do a plough, but then I don't want to plough it because I want to bail it, and we don't have the money yet. We almost do. We almost have the money for a round baler. Hmm. So I think when this field is harvested, we will sell our grain, and then we will buy a baler and bale them up. And I also want to locate our cows. Ah, oh, they're over there. They're near the selling point. So I think after this, we'll probably do a bit of livestock work. I quite like doing the livestock work. 
and I haven't actually seen it yet on this map, so that'll be interesting. We'll just get this field done quickly. It shouldn't take too long. We've got three combines. So it should just be a case of getting a few loads out of it and then we can move on. I, it was remarkable. I looked last night. The size of this field, this field to me seems relatively large. And then when you look at it on the minimap compared to field number nine, wow, it's small. It's amazing. This is going to be one major harvest if we ever do field number nine. Look at the size of it. Field number three is fairly large too. But I thought this was going to be one of the biggest, but nope. It's actually, debatably, probably the smallest. Possibly number one. Hard to tell because it's long. Oh, it's going to be uh, full coming up again, isn't it? Hate it when it does that. Um, I think that's just the way it works. Nothing we can really do about that. We'll just check to see what percent it's on. Right. Uh, mm, mm, might do it. Might be able to come down again. We'll wait at the top. Don't really need that um, truck actually. That's wasting money. Lizard pickup. Well, we've got more money now. I think we'll buy the baler actually. Where's our baler? Baling technology. Round baler. There we go. Okay, combine. Oh, that's going to be full before the top. It's going to start flashing its lights now. Any second. Another train. Well, I think we'll empty it now. There we go. That one's full. And this one's got a bit left. I hate driving in the crops. We may be able to get a bit more off another combine. Possibly. Yep, 3% more. What's going on here? That's another train. Rush hour. Okay, we'll get it off this one over here. That one was emptied second, so we'll just get 3% off it. Probably not even worth it, but might as well get a full load. Ooh, we're snaking. Come on, give us a bit. That'll do us. 1%. It's not worth going back for it. So we'll go and find our tipping point. A place I haven't been yet, I don't think. And then we will... Oh, we could sell it, but I don't want to uh, keep combines waiting too much. Foot to the floor. You are joking. It couldn't do it. Nothing like holding up the traffic. Hey, that's it. Undertake. <laughs> and what's over the other side? Oh, this is painfully slow. We're going to have to do something with our tractors get an upgrade or something we'll have to upgrade it hopefully we'll be able to afford it at some point I'm not sure how much we have in the way of storage we might have some stuff to sell if we do I think I'll buy one big trailer and then take it all in one go but it's somewhere down here I haven't been down here I don't think Ooh, very interesting. Ooh, so we can take 
what looks to be a remarkably muddy way, or we can take the sensible way. I think we'll take the remarkably muddy way on the way back, when we haven't got quite so much grain in. Don't really want to be getting all this stuck. That would be interesting going through there. Anyway, where is our tipping point? This is realistic. Derelict barns and all kind of stuff. It's in there. Hmm, where'd he go? Next one. Oh, please don't tell me it's for grass. You're joking. Is it seriously for grass? You're joking. Why has it got that tipping marker there then? Oh, I hate it when there's that. Um, okay, well, things have failed, as usual. I don't like it when it does this, but I am to blame because I should have checked this. Um, barley. We have got some in storage. No idea where it is though. Bax tube. Get read AG. C. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. So we can go to C. Um, we can go to get read AG. <laughs> Or we can go to um, the freight yard again. Um, hard to see the minimap, but I think there is a way around to C from here. So instead of faffing about, I think we will continue our journey around. It lets us explore the map anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. It's annoying that that didn't accept it. I should have checked though, so it's my fault. So, um, shame it's quite so muddy though. <laughs> they must have had a wet spell or something. I'm literally getting stuck in these. This is one long way around. You can't say it's not realistic though, um, there's been a lot of effort put into this map, a lot of effort. Ooh, not good, not good at all. I have literally submerged the front end of our tractor. I didn't even know that was possible. How am I going to get this out of here? I'm going to take the unrealistic approach of literally shoving it out of the mud. Shame you can't take chains or something and actually pull them out. But maybe there'll be a mod for that. Come on. Out you come. This is stuck. Maybe we should uh, push it from the front. Probably be helpful if the tractor had front weight on the New Holland. Don't want to get too stuck. Okay. Oh, we're out. Right, well, our little tractor seems to have done it. 
think we'll leave it close by. Oh, now one of our trailers is stuck. This is not a route I should be taking. Not with this weight. This is seriously, seriously muddy. Okay, um, we'll just take the one for a start then. <laughs> okay, we'll get this on solid ground and we'll come back and get that other one. Come on, let's see if we can get you out. They're like hidden mud holes. You can't even see them. I think it's best just to avoid the area entirely. Alright. So I don't think we'll be driving in that again. It doesn't even look too bad, but it really is. And this is even worse. Apologies for the unrealistic uh, driving here, but I can't see a great deal else I can do. Let's just hitch this up again. And we will... Well, we'll we might get there eventually. <laughs> um, I don't know if we ever will, but we'll give it another go. Hopefully this time we won't get stuck in any mud. I have to admit it's a lot of weight though, and for this little tractor it's it's a big ask for it really, I think. But we might get there. So it's um it's still quite a way. We're going to see. Um not sure why it's called that. It could be a European language which I don't know what it means um, or it could just literally mean C I have no idea but we'll go and see if we can tip there it says we can so we should be able to oh no you are joking well we'll go for it it's not mud so it shouldn't be too bad here. I think my plan of not letting the combines wait is sort of backfired. They will be waiting. Um, down here? Don't tell me this is the selling point for the wood or something. Are we backing them into there? One at a time. To a little barge or something. I don't think they're going to hold our trailer load though. Still, it's taking it and we're getting paid for it. Not complaining. Well, that's one done. Number two. I have to admit, this is taking a fair bit longer than I thought it would, and wanted it to, to get this one field done. I was hoping to get it done in a part, or two parts. I don't want to really drag it over to part three. I want to get some baling done, and some livestock work. Right, let's take these back then. Not through the mud. I will take them on a different road. What's that? Some kind of 
Looks like a piece of crane. Right. So we'll find our way out. Not sure where the way out is. Over here? Oh, I've taken the wrong route again. Oh well, it's probably the quickest way despite it being the muddiest. This map has so many hidden areas. It looks like we've got some more cows in there. With our silage pit. Looks like it. I want to do some of that. Um, okay, so head back and empty our combines again. They're all going to be waiting. Yep, just as I thought, all waiting. Waiting to be unloaded. But they have almost done. We could probably move one of the combines over there now. Um, I could have taken that off and brought it round, but I couldn't get the back one. All three just sat there. Shame the emptying isn't a little quicker. I guess it's realistic. That's one done. We're going to be full again immediately. Number two. And number three is way, way over there. Waiting to be unloaded. This is one big field. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Yes, let's go. <coughs> And the final combine. I think what I'm going to do is let them finish off. I'll end the video about now. And then in part three, we will be bailing all of this field and by that time these should have finished so we'll finish the harvest here I think not much point in carrying on because um, it's all going to be the same, me going to that emptying point and these going up and down wanting to be emptied all the time so I think the best thing to do is probably end it here wait for part 3 which should be tomorrow and I think we will call it a day here I'm hoping to not only do the baling but also to replace all these combines with one big one because it really is turning into a chasing game chasing them across the map and we don't have the horsepower required to do that kind of thing I don't think so it would be a lot easier and quicker if we just had one big combine um, so yeah thanks for watching and I will see you in part 3 like I say hopefully tomorrow